help plan for your activities in the coming days, here is the new local forecast for your region. Stay tuned for more in-depth coverage of today's weather headlines. Coming up in your next local, the outlook for the rest of the day and a look ahead at tomorrow's forecast. To upload your photos and videos, visit upload.theweathernetwork.com. Stay tuned to Force of Nature, a look at the wildest weather from around the world. This local forecast has been brought to you by TD. Banking can be this comfortable. Lots going on tonight, but even more so for Wednesday. Market down. You want to be tuned in to us here at the Weather Network, Canada's number one source for weather information, news, and feature items. The feature, of course, will be this massive system. It is ramping up. It is tracking, just like the computer models have suggested. Up the Atlantic coast, this is a typical nor'easter trajectory, and that means Atlantic Canada, the Maritimes, eastern Quebec will be hammered. We're going to talk about how it all plays out. Nicole Karkic joins us with a forecast that looks ugly, mid-winter se uh, season-like. But first, our man on the spot, Chris Sinclair, gives us an idea of how it's all going to be shaping up tomorrow. This is Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, Tuesday, early into Wednesday, calm before the storm here. I tell you, this storm, when it arrives, and it will arrive in Prince Edward Island, probably mid-late morning and be at its height into the afternoon and evening tomorrow, is really going to be something. This could be potentially the worst storm, bar none, so far this winter unfortunately spring season in Canada. We're on uh, Grafton Street right in front of the Confederation Center for the Performing Arts. We'll be here tomorrow to show you the snow blowing and the wind howling, but we'll be out and about in Prince Edward Island. If you have some good locations you'd like us to go to, hook us up on uh, Twitter. You can reach me at uh, CSTCLAIR numeral one, and uh, I'd be happy to head off to where you are. But anyway, for more details on how this storm's going to unfold, let's get them all right now. 
All right, thanks so much, Chris. He is going to be in the thick of the storm tomorrow. Take a look at the warnings in place. Anywhere marked in pink, nothing's really untouched in Newfoundland, as you can tell. Blizzard warnings in place. Buckins is included. Clarenville, Bonavista, and St. John's all in that blowing snow warning. And also, it is going to be uh, cooler temperatures uh, than you're used to in through western shores of Newfoundland. But St. John's getting into a warm sector for tomorrow uh, late in the day, so you're going to see some mixing. Now, take a look at this by Wednesday. A big area of concern moving through the region across the maritime provinces. We're forecasting over 40 centimeters of snow in some cases. And also the winds are going to be a big part of this story. Gusts over 180 kilometers an hour for wreck house winds. Uh, gusts over 100 kilometers an hour, generally speaking. So yeah, we could potentially have a lot of power outages. Uh, already, maritime bus has canceled all of their routes except the route to the Halifax airport. But check for any flight delays, of course. We're going to have a storm surge potential, blizzard conditions, dangerous travel, and here's a look at the wind warnings that we have in place. The winds will be sustained over 100, uh, uh, sustained at 60 kilometers an hour, but gusts over 120, anywhere marked in pink. So it is going to be cause for concern. Here's the storm surge warnings that we have in play. The potential for snow in through Newfoundland. It is going to certainly be messy. Now, what we saw here yesterday, Gary. Yeah, not even close to what we're getting tomorrow. Still winter-like with that snow, but we're going to just tack on more. You're absolutely right, Nicole. And as we look at what's happening right now, really focusing on the maritime provinces, uh, we're going to see that really moving in tomorrow in the afternoon. Now ahead of it we'll see some strong northeasterly winds but there it is along the eastern seaboard Halifax, Yarmouth, uh, Shelburne County, you name it, it is going to be very messy for you and then by Thursday night we're looking at Halifax getting maybe 45 centimeters of snowfall so it is going to be a tough one. Our Stormwatch coverage jets continue coming up also tomorrow morning. Take a look at who is going to be on the ground giving you the latest updates. You're watching Canada's number one source for complete and accurate weather.